Let's continue on with our discussion of design for assembly. In this video, we are going to cover the first principle, which is symmetry and asymmetry. What we mean by this is that we want to reduce errors and also time for orientation by making parts impossible to install incorrectly. So you want to take advantage of symmetry when you can. Similarly, if you want to make sure that something can't be installed improperly, you might want to use exaggerated asymmetry between the different locating features on your components. And along with that, you might want to avoid left and right-handed parts. Now, I work in aerospace. We have left and right-handed parts all the time. Sometimes they are impossible to avoid, but you may want to consider creating a part that can be used on the left or right-hand side, even if it has some unnecessary features when used on either side. So let's jump into Creo and take a look at a few examples of this. Here I am in Creo. I have an assembly open and it's got three main components. We have the bottom of a case. We have the top lid of the case and inside of it we have a circuit board assembly. So right now taking a look at the top and the bottom of the case, this can be installed in two different positions. You could take this case and you could rotate it 180 degrees and it'll still be installed properly. So that's one way of taking advantage of symmetry. But let's say we had a situation in which the orientation did matter. So for example, let me go to the top case. I'm going to resume a bunch of features. Yes, I need to get out of the exploded state. And so now we can see that we have a series of cutouts for some different connectors in the top of the case. So in this particular situation, we need to have asymmetry instead. Let me change to a top view just so that you can see that the location of those different cutouts are not symmetrical uh, with respect to how the case needs to be installed. So instead of having a series of symmetrical mounts for the top and the bottom case, we can make them asymmetrical. So let me go to these features and I will suppress them and I'm going to grab a different set and resume those. Let me do the same thing for the bottom of the case. I'm going to suppress these features and then bring up the asymmetrical mount. And so now you can see that there is only one way in which the top and bottom of the cases can be installed so that it is proper. And because of the exaggerated asymmetry, it should take a person relatively short amount of time to figure out the correct orientation of the top of the case relative to the bottom of the case. And let's take a look at another thing that you can do. And it's, I don't know, a little bit related to symmetry and asymmetry. And I'm going to go back to my combination state where everything is exploded. And one way that you can also prevent someone from installing something improperly is by using little dimples or notches or other different features. And so, for example, if I go to the top of the case, it's really hard to see, but there's a little dimple, yeah, extremely hard to see there, uh, that would line up with the dimple on the bottom of the case. And another situation that we can get into, if we take a look at the circuit board, the circuit board does have some symmetry, but there is a certain way in which it needs to be assembled. So one thing that we can do is we can put in, again, different kinds of cuts to make sure that something is installed properly. Let me go to the model tree for the board and I'm going to resume a feature. Let's hit the confirm button. And now I've put in a cut in the circuit board. So it is a little bit less symmetrical, uh, but to make sure that a person will install it properly, let me go to the bottom of the case and resume a feature in there. Oops, wrong one. Let me uh, suppress that once more. The feature that I want is over here. I was grabbing the wrong set of features. Let me resume that. And so now by adding a set of features into the circuit board, let me hide 
the top of the case there. You can see that when someone goes to install the circuit board, it's pretty obvious the way that it would need to be oriented in order to be installed correctly. So that's how you can take advantage of symmetry and asymmetry and other different locating features in order to improve your design for assembly.